Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately, you're going to need it. The problem that we'll solve today is very similar to the problem that we did yesterday on day number 397, which was problem number 16 that you will find on page number 298. The problem that we're going to do in this video is going to be very similar to problem number 16 that you will see on page number 298. Here, here are the changes we're going to make. Problem number 16 reads, the problem number 16 reads, suppose the height of a population of nine Three, suppose that the height of a population of 3,000 penguins, instead of 3,000 penguin, we're just going to have 900 students. Suppose the height of a population of 900 students are approximately normally distributed with a mean of, with a mean of, one hundred and twenty centimeter and standard deviation of ten centimeter. Given these facts, here's the first question. Approximately how many approximately how many students are between the are between the are between one hundred and twenty to one hundred and forty centimeters to one hundred and forty centimeters tall. So you're running a school, you have nine hundred students in the class in, in the in your school, you're running a school, you have nine hundred kids in the school. You know every every kid's height, every kid's height is recorded in the computer, and you know their mean score, and you know the standard deviation. That part is already done. The question simply is, if you were to pick one kid at random out of those 900 students, what are the odds that that kid picked at random will have a height of between 120 and 140? Again, as you can see, it's very similar to the yesterday's problem. Here's, here's what the normal distribution will look like. This is your mean here, which in this case is 120. If you move one standard deviation above, you reach the standard deviation is 10, so you can reach 130. If you reach another standard deviation, you reach 140. And we know, we know that if you lie between one standard deviation, we are 68, we capture 68 percent of the population. If we move one standard deviation more, in either direction, we capture another 14 percent of the population. And 2 percent, only 2 percent lies in the tail. That we already know. How many, what approximately how many kids? Oh, I, I misread the question. It's the question doesn't say what are the odds that the student picked at random will have a height, so or will, will have a height. But well, that would be a silly question. Question simply is how many will have a height of between 120 and 140? Why not? It's not a silly question. What are the odds the student picked at random will have a height of between 120 and 140? If that were the question, that is not the question, but if that were the question, the answer would have been well, this is 68%, so obviously this is 34%. 34 plus 14 is 48%. So there, are, there is a 48% chance, there's almost 50-50 chance that if you pick a student at random, that his height is going to be between 120 and 140. The question is how many students, how many, approximately how many students will have a height of between 120 and 140? Well, we just said it. Between 120 and 130, between 120 and 130, 34% of the students lie. 34% of the students will have a height of between 120 and 130. Another, another, another 10 centimeter will capture another 14% of the population. So 34 plus 14 is 48. The answer is 48%. 48% of 900. That's the answer. Let's do it out, shall we? 48 times 9. But actually, actually, let's not do the damn anything. Let's not do the damn anything. 
48%, instead of figuring out 48% of 900, why don't we figure out 2% of 900? Right here, 2%. 2% 2 of 900, 2% of 900 is easier because 1% is 9, 2% of 900 is 18. Are you with me so far? So 48% 48 of 900 would have to equal, would have to equal 50% minus 2%. 50% of 900, of course, we know is 450 minus 18. 450 minus 20 would have been 430, so it's going to be 432. There you go. About 432 students will have a height of 120 centimeter to 100, will have a height between 120 centimeters and 140 centimeters, which represents 48% of the population. Let's do one more, shall we? Part B. Part B. What are the odds? What are the odds that a student picked at random what are the odds that a student picked at random will have a height will have a height between 120 centimeter to 130 centimeter. What's the answer? Oh before you worry about the answer, before you worry about the answer, let's see how to let's 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 find out how to write this thing in the language of statistics. Instead of writing out all of this thing, what are the odds that the students picked at random will have a height of between 120 and 130 centimeter in the in the statistics books, the same question will be presented as such. What are the odds? P stands for the probability. What's the probability, which is same as, what are the odds that the height is going to lie between 120 and 130? That the height is going to lie between 120 and 130. Follow. Well, H, H stands for the height. What are the, what are the odds that the height of a student picked at random? Height of a student, H represents the height of a student picked at random. Height of a student, a student picked at random the height of a student picked at random is your edge. What are the odds, what is the probability that the height of a student picked at random will be between 120 and 130? Well, 120 and 130 is this right here. And we can clearly see from the bell curve that is 34%. The odds are 34%. That's it. The answer is 34%. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Part C. Part C. Part C says, what are the odds what are the odds, what are the odds that a student picked at random will have, will have a height, will have a height of, will have a height of less than 110 centimeter. Well, how do we write it? Less than 110 centimeter, it's like this. What are the odds that a student picked at random will have a height of less than 110 centimeter? 10 centimeters. 110 centimeters. Oh, what is 110? Right here. This is 120. We go on that under one standard deviation because the standard deviation is 10. We reach 110. And the question is, what are the odds that a student picked at random will have a height of less than 110? Well, we can clearly see. We can clearly see that 14% of 14% of the students will have a height of between 110 and 100 and 2% will lie below that. So what are the odds that he will have a height of 100 and less than 110? Well, the answer is 2% and 14%. 16% is the answer. There is only 16% chance, there is only 16% chance that the student picked at random will have a height of less than 110 centimeters. Let's do one more. One last one, part D. Let's do part D right here. And this time, instead of writing everything out, let's just use symbols. What are the odds, what's the probability, that a student picked at random, H represents the height of a student picked at random. One more time, H here represents the height of a student 
picked at random. What are the odds? What is the probability that a student picked at random will have a height of greater than 140 centimeter? Oh, where is 140? Right here is 140. What are the odds that you're going to lie above 140? Well, only 2% of the population lies above 140. And that's your odds. The odds are only 2%. It's only 2%, not very likely, highly unlikely, highly unlikely that a student that you pick at random will have a height of more than 140 centimeter, given the fact that the average in the class, average in the school is only 120 centimeter and the standard deviation is 10 centimeter. So the odds of picking somebody with a height of 140 centimeter is very low, not bloody likely, or at least not very likely, only 2% chance. Do you understand? Bye now.